everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sensory bottle if you watched my homeschool room tour then you saw this in that video uh, I told you guys I'm gonna be making more and we were at the store today and I found some Orbeez and I thought that that would be a really fun addition to a sensory bottle so if you're interested in seeing how we make this just keep on watching all right so here is the sensory bottle that we already made um, this one has water, food coloring, and pom-poms in it. I used different colored pom-poms and some sparkly pom-poms, and this is how it turned out. We've had this for about a year. So today, we're going to be making one with Orbeez, and then I also have some sequins, we have some glitter, we have some beads, um, some shiny beads, and then some regular beads and some water. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and start with our container. This is actually a tea that my husband likes. It's Argo tea. And um, I just have him get a tea and then save the bottle for me. I like them because they're glass and we haven't had any issues with this one breaking or any, oh, this one <laughs> breaking or anything. Um, so the first thing I did is I washed it out and now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some stuff in it. Yep, so my daughter is off to the side. She's not in camera, but she is going to be helping me make this. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our Orbeez. Her favorite color is yellow, so that is what she chose. All right, baby, we're not gonna do all of them, okay? All right. Let's just start with that for now. Oh no! No, 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 no. Alright, let's pour a little bit more. Can you reach? Oops. Try not to let them back up. Okay. That's gonna be. Ooh! We'll just look at that in a second. So, we're just gonna do a little more than half of our Orbeez for now. Do you wanna use some sequins? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do some sequins. Oh my gosh, we're just making a giant mess, but that's okay. This bag is not very easy for it. Okay. Let's just do all of them. The sequins are better. <laughs> Alright. Does that look good? It's okay, Mom. That's what we have so far. I think, do you want to add... Did you want to add some beads or do you just want to add glitter? I want to add beads. Okay, so let's add I some. I want to do it by myself. Okay, yeah. you can add the beads. Zoe is going to go ahead and add some beads. Ready. Okay, two more. And we'll add some glitter, so I'll do this part. So shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on here and shake it up a little bit and see what it's gonna look like. I think we might want to add some more Orbeez, but that looks really fun. Do you like that? Uh huh. I'm shiny. It's, let's add some more Orbeez, okay. and then we'll add some glitter. Okay. Can I put the glitter in? Yes. Okay. I think we're gonna do. Should we do some silver? No, no, no. No. Red. Can we do red? Okay. She picks red. Here you go. All right, that should be good. All right, should we shake it up and see what it looks like? So excited. Can I shake it? Uh, yeah. Let me just do it first, real quick. This is what we have right now. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water, but this is fun because you can see the beads in there. You can see the Orbeez, the glitter, and the sequins. No, I think this is good enough glitter. So now all we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. Um, you could also add 
some oil that actually, you know what, I think I'm going to add some oil. I'm editing the video right now and I just wanted to do this last part as a voiceover and let you know that I'm showing you here that I'm adding the oil. However, I think it actually was better before I put in the oil. The oil made the glitter clump to the beads and the sequins, and I think it looked better before we added that in there. So if you're making this yourself, um, either way works, but my preference would probably be without the oil and just adding a little bit more water. But either way, we really like how it turned out, and my daughter loves these, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. All you have to do now is add some hot glue and some, or some super glue, and we haven't had any issues with the lids coming off or the other bottle breaking. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next video.